it can make and do for you. How are you doing? You're right. Hope you're holding up in these weirdy times. So I just wanted to show you, in case you're a little bit bored, how to make a paper fortune teller. I used to love these when I was young. If you're old like me, you might remember them. Um, so I will show you how to make the basic structure of one of these and then you can get creative and do your own versions at home. Um, but first let me just remind you how you play one of these. So this is a basic one with just four colours on the top. So you would offer it to a friend and say, pick a colour. They might say green. You spell out whatever it is they said, G-R-E-E-N, by squeezing your thumb and your forefinger together. Inside you've got eight numbers, one to eight. So at this point you'd offer them four and say, pick a number. They might say three. So you count, one, two, three. Then you ask them to choose a second number. Maybe they'd say six. One, two, three, four, five, six. You count it out. Third number they pick, that's going to be their fortune. So that's the one they're going to decide. So the third number, say they pick number two. You then open up the fortune teller, look under flap number two, and read whatever you've written under there. Uh, this one says, are you honestly having your hair like that? So <laughs> in the old days when I used to make them, I did four cheeky ones, something like that, and four really kind, nice ones like, I love you, or you smell of roses, or you could do cheeky ones like, you're a poo. Up to you. So that's the basic one. But then you could have fun with it. You could create an Easter one. This one that my stepdaughter made has got lovely emojis poured over it and inside it's full of motivational, inspirational little quotes like love yourself first and everything else falls into place. Ah, just to make you feel better. Or I've made a nature one so you could do a kind of spot things in the garden like can you spot an insect, can you find a bird, all sorts of things like that. This one's a sporty one if you're into your fitness you could choose tennis racket, football, whatever on the top, and then inside you could write things like do five burpees, or do seven star jumps, or can you do ten ab crunches and make it a little fitness workout. Or you could just do jokes, you can make it like a magic eight ball where it answers questions inside, so you ask it a question and it will give the answer. It's entirely up to you, but let me show you how you make one. So start off, you need a piece of paper. I've got a piece of A4 paper, it needs to be square. Let me show you how to make this into a square piece of paper without even needing scissors. So, you take the short edge of the paper and you fold it down along one of the long edges. Now, the important thing with these paper fortune tellers is you want to do it really, really neatly. So, take a little bit of time to make sure all the edges really line up so you end up with a very sharp point there. You'll see you've created a line here at the bottom. I'm going to fold that up along that line. Again, really take time to line the paper up. And then you can score that with your nail if you've got some. Ask someone in the house if they've got long nails to do it for you. Back and forwards. If nobody's got long nails, you could just use the edge of a ruler or something like that. Do that a few times until hopefully you can just, she says, Tear it nice and neatly along that line. Yes, and we're going to get rid of this piece, don't need that. You can use it, use it for colouring in later. <laughs> so you should end up with a square of paper that's got a fold diagonally on it. We want to make another diagonal fold from this corner to this corner now. We've got one from that corner to that corner. Let's do the other one. What's the rule with these? Do it nice and neatly. There, so you should end up with a kind of square kite looking shape at this point with two folds. Okay, step number two, we're gonna fold each of these four corners into that center fold there. Nice and neatly, remember, here we go. One, And if you've done it neatly, then hopefully you shouldn't have anything overlapping anywhere. And then your fortune teller will work really smoothly. Three, four. Okay, so now you should have one side with four kind of flappy triangle pieces. And if I turn it over, you'd have a flat square with just folds on it. Okay, so have these flappy triangle bits facing the table. Put it down with your flat square on the top. And now we're gonna fold each of these four corners 
in to the flat square on the top, okay? Nice and neatly, do it nice and neatly. One, two, three. Take your time with this and do it nice and neatly. Right, when you've done that, you'll have four smaller flappy triangle bits and on the other side, you'll have four squares that open up from the centre point, like that. Okay, we're going to just make some folds in this. So we've got squares facing up. Fold the whole thing down in half like a little tent and squeeze along the top. So you've got two squares on each side. Yeah, done that. Now open it up, give it a 90 degree turn. And then do the same again, so you're folding the other half. With two squares on one side, two on the other. There we go. Right, that's just to help it form its shape. Now for the clever bit where it all comes together, take a forefinger and a thumb, put your forefinger into one of those squares and your thumb into another square and pinch your thumb and your finger together. And it starts to form the shape. Yahoo! Same on the other side, this is the trickiest bit. One finger into that square, thumb into the other square, squeeze it all together, squeeze your thumb and your finger, and there is your fortune teller. Like a little Muppet mouth. Well done. So hopefully yours has worked well. You can then open it up and decorate those four squares with whatever topic you want. Music, art, books, nature, Photography, anything you're into, make your own little fortune teller. Inside on these triangles, you want to write the numbers one to eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two numbers per flap. And then inside, you need to write your fortunes or your jokes or your answers or your instructions. And then that will be your fortune teller complete. So there you go. I hope you have as much fun making these as I used to when I was young. And stay safe, everyone. I'll see you again soon.